Companies House is an executive agency of the Department for Business, Enterprise and Industrial Strategy. Um, and we're responsible for creating and maintaining a public register of companies. At the moment, we're at the early stages of an organisational transformation. We're going to be transforming inside and out um, our digital services, our culture, our structure, everything is, is transforming. And obviously uh, diversity is really important in that transformation. One of the things we decided to do was launch a women's network in Companies House. Um, at the same time we started working with Huariteg on our fair play employer journey um, and our women's network has been a really good success. We've uh, introduced a mentoring scheme and encouraged lots of women to um, take advantage of mentoring and mentor others. The fact that we've got so many women interested and engaged with the network just shows that it was, it, it was wanted, it was needed. Our, our vision as a network is to inspire and support all women across the organisation to um, be the best they can be. Um, so I think that's, that's really resonated with, with women across the organisation. We had a number of men come along to the launch event um, and subsequently um, offer their support in whatever way they, they could support the network. I think having um, the support of men just shows the, the impact that our efforts are having, not just on women, but on men across the organisation too. So we've got ambitious plans over the next sort of four years, but certainly over the next year we want to work closely with Huariteg to make those changes. Because of that fo focus on our culture, it just feels like a really great place to work. We are a coastal partnership and I, I guess the whole vision for us is about clean and healthy, um, sustainable coasts and seas. So we're, we're really passionate about uh, making a difference in, in coastal communities. It's a close team, um, really, really flexible and we're, we're all really passionate about the job, which is one of the key things that we look for. So we're a really forward-thinking company and the Fair Play Employer Scheme is a really nice fit for us. We're passionate about um, you know, gender balance and I think we've, really, we've got that um, as a company. Um, and I think it was, it was also about how to develop ourselves as, as a company and be more inclusive for all our members of staff and, and, and be clear about and, and getting them involved in, in developing the visions and the values and, and, and the flexibility and, and the whole of the company from the inside out. We feel that in this day and age to attract the best people and we have to go perhaps above and beyond and, and so yeah flexible working is really, really important for us and particularly as well with the people that have children as well so that they can come in a little bit later they can finish a little bit earlier. Dogs absolutely welcome uh, every single day. We, a member of staff generally brings a, a dog in. It's almost like a stress reliever almost is that you know bending down having a little <laughs> stroke of the dog and all those kind of things so yeah and it obviously makes it much easier for the staff as well. I think it improves, it improves productivity, um, definitely improves the team um, so it, I think it's critical and crucial that you know all organisations particularly of our side should be able to provide that flexibility. I would advise, advise any, any company to be part of the scheme. Um, it's really great, I think, to get someone independent from your company or organisation to come in, um, to work with you, to identify areas where you can improve. Our hopes for the future is, is to grow, um, to grow our team and also grow learning um, and exporting knowledge and skills. We essentially provide education um, worldwide. We provide, I suppose the easiest way to describe it, as an alternative to the curriculum that's much more attuned to building the student for their future life. They're much more uh, attuned to respect for one another. They learn life skills, I suppose, as well as educational ones. So it's, it's a fantastic education, and I'm really proud to be part of that. Because we're an international organisation, diversity is really important to us. We have a diverse student um, population, but more importantly here in my role for the UK office, um, we very much uh, have diversity of gender, age, sexual orientation, nationality, and that brings a real richness. We just com constantly move that through that diversity agenda and make sure it runs through us like a stick of rock, really. We've been working quite a bit with Kuare Teg. I love the scheme and it's really given us some um, motivation, really, to do great things in the name of diversity. We have um, some Stonewall Allies training that's coming up. We're rolling out unconscious bias training. We have mental health first aiders. Um, we already had a great flexible working scheme, so we've built on that and looked at, are there barriers to men, for example, putting in flexible working requests? Having the business wanting to understand what's not quite right and fixing it has, has had a great effect. Um, people have really responded positively to that.
Torvine Leisure Trust is a charitable company limited by guarantee. Um, so we're really a social enterprise. We run five facilities in the borough of Torvine. If you look after your staff, your staff look after your, your organisation. And that's exactly what's happened. We've done a huge, huge culture change um, in the organisation since December 2017. Really, really invested in the staff. We call it, it sounds really corny, but it's our TLT family. So really, I've got 250 chicks in the nest that I've got to look after. We've got to listen to what our staff say about our business. We've got to make sure that we're listening to the ideas that they're bringing forward, that we value their opinions, because if we don't value their opinions, they are the people that are working on the ground. Leisure is quite a male-dominated environment in the, in the leisure sector that we work in. So it's really important that we give everybody equal opportunities. They are the right person for the post. We want to make sure that we give them the opportunity to progress in, in our organisation. When opportunities become available, we try our very hardest to put those opportunities out internally as opposed to externally because that buys in the organisation then that there is growth and there is development available. The programme has given us um, so many opportunities to really sit down and reflect on the current processes that we've got in place. Um, so to hear that we were nominated, the staff were absolutely delighted. Um, and you know, it doesn't matter to us if we don't win, because as far as I'm concerned, our TLT team are winners already.